let's look at these three examples of algebraic expressions and identify the terms and the factors in each one. The terms of an algebraic expression are simply the components that are being added or subtracted together. So in this first example, 8x plus 4 times 2 minus 5, there are three terms, the three things that are being added or subtracted, 8x, 4 times 2, and 5. There are the three terms. Now, the factors of a term are the things that are getting multiplied together in each term. For example, in 8x, the factors are 8 and x, because those are the two things getting multiplied together. On the other hand, in 4 times 2, the factors are 4 and 2, because those are the two things getting multiplied together. In the third term, 5, 5 is the only factor, and it's not getting multiplied by anything. As a side note, when we have a numerical factor like 8 getting multiplied by a variable factor like x, 8 is called the coefficient of the term. It's the number getting multiplied by the variable, so we call it a coefficient. Another thing to know is that this expression isn't fully simplified. 4 times 2 minus 5 is just 8 minus 5, which is 3. So we could rewrite this expression as 8x plus 3. And if we write it like this, then it only has two terms. So how many terms an expression has can certainly depend on how you write it. Let's look at this next example. xy plus 3x minus 6y squared z plus 9. The terms of this expression are the components being added or subtracted. So in this case, there are four terms, xy, 3x, 6y squared z, and 9. Again, those are the things that are being added or subtracted. Let's now identify the factors of these terms. The factors of x, y are x and y. You might wonder what the coefficient of this term is. There's not a coefficient written, and in this case, the implied coefficient is 1. If we put a 1 in front of it, that doesn't change anything, because multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. So that's the coefficient in this case. The term 3x has two factors, the coefficient 3 and the variable it's getting multiplied by, x. The term 6y squared z has three factors, the coefficient 6, the variable y squared, and the variable z. Now you might wonder why y squared doesn't count as two factors, since y squared is y times y. It's for the same reason that we don't count 6 as two factors, even though 6 is 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is just a number. The number is 6, and so we generally consider that as one factor. In the same way that y squared is one variable, it just has an exponent other than 1. We still consider it, in most cases, to be one factor. And of course, z is the third factor here. And then the final term of 9 is one factor. It's just 9, a constant term all by itself. Let's finish with this one more ugly expression. 4a over b plus 7a squared plus b c cubed minus 4ab cubed c squared plus 2. The terms are the components being added or subtracted, so in this case there are 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. The first term is 4a over b. Now dividing by b, which is what's happening here, is the same as multiplying by 1 over b. So let's write it as 4a times 1 over b. That makes it easier to see what the factors of this term are. R. And there are the rest of the terms listed out. We'll talk about some of the factors here. In this first term, for example, we can see that the three factors are 4, the coefficient, a, and 1 over b. In this second term, you may wonder why it itself is one term, even though it has addition in it. And we've been saying that the terms are the things being added or subtracted. The reason that a squared and b 
aren't their own separate terms of this expression is because they're part of a bigger product. They're kind of trapped in a multiplication. a squared plus b is not being added or subtracted with the other terms. In fact, a squared plus b is being multiplied by 7 and c cubed. And it's that whole product that's being added or subtracted with the other terms of the expression. And that's the difference. We could look at a squared plus b as its own expression, and if we sort of zoom in like that, then indeed it does have two terms, a squared and b. But in the context of this bigger expression, a squared plus b is just one factor of this larger term. So those are the three factors of this term. And then this third term has one, two, three, four factors. The factors are four, a, b cubed, and c squared. And then the final term is just a constant. It is just one factor all by itself. So that's what terms and factors of algebraic expressions are, as well as a little bit about coefficients. And hopefully that will make it easier for you to talk about your work and ask good questions. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and thank you very much for watching. I'm a secular and a